With the growth of smartphones, the need to have a responsive website design structure is very essential. Hence, as front-end developer, it's our job to make sure our websites or web apps are responsive at all the platforms. Keeping in view this need, the current design challenge requires you to make this design responsive. Currently, if you look at the HTML structure, we have uh, we are using actually the Google fonts for the fonts and we are using font awesome for the icon. Then you have a background image and a simple HTML structure. If you look at the CSS code, it just have uh, it just uses a simple CSS in order to um, actually convert this design. Now you will be provided with the JS fiddle. And uh, if you look at how currently it resides, basically it breaks as the screen size uh, become smaller. For example, till 794, it looks good. So your requirement should be after 767, which is here or till here. Yes, uh, what it should do it is it should con it should take the image at the top, make this box at the bottom. Means image will reside over here and the text will reside at the bottom. Mm, there is a limit right now if we check. Uh, if we check the on the height, so for example, uh, let's look at the HTML structure a bit. In fact, let's do it via the console. That'd be better. Mm, okay, I'm gonna remove the top. Okay, so if you look at the way it is handled right now, there is a limit, which is why. Uh, the design gets, uh, which is why you see the design gets broken. So there's a limit on the height. So you will remove while you are using the media queries. Your hint is that you will be using media queries, obviously. And then you will be removing this article height and making these container width to be 100 person. And that should just do the job. Uh, I wish you all the best. We'll look forward for your solutions.